Okay, now uh, you'll see that under converting, which is still highlighted here on the left, it says all documents have been processed. We go to published, and there are both newsletters. Um, if I were to click on open, we would see a full page representation of the flipbook, but uh, we're going to go ahead and make a miniature representation of the flipbook that we're going to embed on our website and we're going to use the handy dandy embed uh, widget here on the right and we're going to click on it. Well first we're going to highlight the one that we're going to embed and then we're going to click on embed and we get a new interface. First you see the full uh, issue you page for that newsletter and then you get the widget here where we, uh, we make the miniature embed image. Um, we'll go through the options. Uh, first it says always show flip buttons. Since someone um, coming to your website who is not familiar with these flip books, uh, it's always handy to identify that by turning this on. That means that when they scroll over on the mouse they'll see uh, dynamic buttons that indicate that oh the pages will flip or and that if you double click on the uh, on the virtual image it'll bring open a full screen representation of the uh, publication of the flipbook. Layout by default it's two up. Uh, that's kind of the cool thing about it. You so when it's two up that means that if you're on an interior page, you'll have a uh, two-page spread with the right-hand page and left-hand page, and it has some subtle shading in the middle indicating the spine of the book. Um, the size, you can make this, um, this smaller flip book different sizes according to how it fits into the layout of your uh, web page. We'll just leave it at the default 420 pixels wide. You can change the background that your uh, image of the flipbook is uh, is presented on. Uh, by default it's this light gray. You can pick a web color, dark. You can sort of change that aspect of it in various different ways. Auto flip by default is off. I would leave that off as well. If you turn it on, what it does is um, as soon as your web page loads, it starts an animated movie of your entire book flipping through page by page. Uh, the disadvantage of that is that it makes your file size larger. Everybody who comes to your website has to wait while it downloads you know, the graphics of each individual page in your document which slows down your page load and you know uh, may be may take too long for some viewers it's better to have it just load the front cover and then uh, as they want to flip into interior pages like this in the uh, preview screen they can do it themselves if you double click it will open a full screen version of that uh, you can also add music or an audio soundtrack Again, that makes the file larger, and larger is not necessarily good in this instance. Okay, on the left here, you'll see that HTML is what is highlighted, and you can see that there's some HTML code here. Uh, you can see the first little bit says that it's 420 pixels wide by 272 pixels tall, and that this is a div. So this is a self-contained div that uh, you can put in your manually coded HTML layout. Um, and if you are using something else, like uh, one of these various uh, web publishing platforms, it will uh, provide like a simpler short code to incorporate in one of these, you know, uh, other publishing platforms. This instance, we're going to put it on a Joomla page. So here's some short code that is designed to incorporate into Joomla's uh, PHP-driven web 
publishing platform. Um, so what I'm going to do, double click to make sure that I select all of the text and we're going to save this uh, text. I'm using um, text edit uh, on a Mac. You know, this all works on any uh, any browser, any platform, but we're just going to save this code for the next tutorial, which will be about placing this in the Joomla page. Thanks for watching.